Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's dinner I am making um, lemon dill shrimp and zucchini. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the oven. Now this, I'm going to preheat the oven to um, 375 Fahrenheit. So we're going to do um, 375. We're going to hit start. Now, I'm going to, so this is ready when I dump this. Now, before we even, I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. Now, this recipe, guys, um, is so easy to make, and it's pretty um, straightforward. Um, if you guys want to know how to make this dish, I'll have this on my channel, too. And maybe I'll um, show you guys how to do, like, a, um, a uh, shrimp shrimp kind of dish. This dish is easy, so I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to dump it on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, now, the most important thing is, is you guys want to make sure that it's not all together. You guys want to make sure it's evenly spread, so I'm going to kind of take my hands, and even though this is easy, but we're just going to kind of flatten it. And all we're going to do is when the oven's ready, we'll bake it at 375 for 10 minutes. And if that's not enough, then we'll, um, you know, some cream, but we don't know. But all I'm doing is pouring this on, and I'm going to let this bake. 10 minutes, and then if it's not done in 10 minutes, we'll do another you know, 10 ish minutes. I don't know. But this recipe is so easy, guys. So, all I'm going to do now is while the oven preheats, I'm going to wash my hands, and then uh, I'll show you what what we're going to do next because this recipe is easy. Now, if you guys have um, never made this recipe before, then this recipe is pretty easy to make. Um, sometimes I like to do a um, Crisp between me with yellow squash, but tonight we're doing um, shrimp zucchini and a butternut squash. So we're gonna see how that goes. Now, um, if you guys um, want to know how to make this dish, like I said, this recipe will be on my channel, Jeremiah the Chef, or I'm sorry, Chef Jane Butch will be on the channel waiting for you guys, and you guys will be able to know how to make this. Now, um, let's, we're going to, now, while the oven creates, I'm going to talk about tomorrow's dinner, or, um, Thursday. So, tomorrow, I'm doing a, um, little cookout, and we're going to do pasta salad with, um, hot dogs and hamburgers. That recipe will be easy. Now, Thursday, we're going to do a crock pot meal, which is going to be a, it's going to be a slow cooker of garlic parmesan chicken pasta, which should be easy to make too. It's, these recipes are really easy. Um, we started doing this um, meal prep where we um, we basically just you know prep what we're gonna have throughout the week and just you know straightforward. This is an easy recipe. And if you guys want to know how to make this recipe, then you guys know where to get the good recipe. Now, this recipe. Oops, and we forgot a piece of shrimp, but we'll get that out. This recipe is really easy, and I love making videos for you guys because some of you guys were asking me, you guys were like, can you show me a version of shrimp zucchini and um, shrimp, a uh, lemon and dill shrimp zucchini, and it's really easy, it's straightforward, and these recipes are like, kind of like a little verse long, I'm just going to, and this recipe is easy. Now we're just waiting for the oven to preheat to 375. And um, it's going to bake for like 10 minutes, and it'll be delicious. So, um, and as we, um, like I said, we're going to, I'm going to try to get um, a lot of good videos, a lot of good, a lot of great recipes for this channel. We're going to try to make a lot of good recipes. Um, this dinner we're doing for tonight. And like I said, um, this video will be uploaded. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys, because you guys have been always asking me, you guys were like, can you can you write down the recipe? Can you do like a script? And well, I keep, I'm going to do that. After this video is uploaded, I'm going to make a script. I'm going to put the recipe. I'm going to put the recipe in the, in the script. And I'm also going to put your ingredients, how much I use, and um, how long to cook it for. Because that's important. Um... Some people, what they do is they do the same thing. They they um, put the recipe down below in the description box, which I've never done before, but it's easy. Um, if you guys watched yesterday's video, which was my yellow rice and pigeon peas, you guys know I had to split that into three parts because I wanted to show you guys the finished product because you guys were asking me about um, what the finished product of the dish looks like. 
tonight we're going to kind of do the same thing. We're going to do part one, which is me um, putting this in the oven, which the oven's halfway there. It's almost there, just not quite. And then I'll do another part, which is me um, taking it out of the oven when it's cooked and done and, um, you know, serving a plate. So this recipe is easy. Now, if you guys want to see my recipe for my, um, uh, my slow cooker, um, my slow cooker garlic parmesan chicken pasta, then you guys are, you guys are going to see that video too. I'm going to make a video of that. That video is kind of easy to make as well because it's just dump and go. It's not that difficult. And for this, um, recipe, you can use, um, can use um, any kind of seasons you want, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use lemon for this recipe. We do because this recipe calls for like lemon and dill and that's what we did. Um, now the oven is at 200 degrees, so we're just almost there. When this beats, I'm gonna put it in the oven, stick it into a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes, and then we'll just let it bake. Now, like I said, this won't be, this. we're gonna do a whole bunch of videos. Like I know, like, now what I did was, um, when I started making videos, I said, well, if I can do, like, actual real cooking videos, so that way you guys will be able to see what kind of videos I'm making. This recipe is easy, because all it is, you just put it on a sheet pan, and then you just throw it in the oven. It's easy to make, because you can just, like, really just, you could, now, what I'll do in the future is I might do, um, I might do, like, a different kind of version of this dinner. But this version is easy. It's just, a, it's just putting it in the oven. Letting it bake, and then that's it. So if you guys want to know how to make this dinner, then it's easy. So right now, the oven is at 235, which we're waiting for it to get to 375. So we're going to wait. And, um, now, the, now, some of you guys have asked me, um, can you make a video of your crock pot minestrone soup? That recipe, we are definitely going to make. I'm definitely going to share that with you guys when the time comes, um, It'll be like a good version of it. Now, what we did was we made a crock pot. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys remember yesterday when I did the video of the yellow rice and pigeon peas, um, um, I showed you guys how to make. I showed you guys the crock pot. Um, it was a it was the crock pot beef tips recipe with some yellow rice, and that video was really good. I really like it. But I think this video will actually um inspire inspire you guys to make this dish. Like, a lot of these dishes I'm going to post on the channel um, are going to be really good. Now, um, the other recipe you guys told me that you guys wanted me to show you how to make was dirty rice. Um, dirty rice is easy to make because it's like a basic dish that everybody should want to make. Um, that video we're going to share with you guys as well. Um, maybe we'll show you guys how to do a... Um... Now, the recipe um, will be down below in, my, in the description box for this video. But I'm going to show you guys something. The other recipe I'm going to do is a, um, Saturday I'm going to do a pork unfried rice. Sunday I'm going to do really baked potatoes. Some of these recipes are really easy because all you can do is you can just throw them all together. And it's easy. It's done. You don't really have to do as much cooking as you would normally do it if you guys weren't prepping it. <laughs> excuse me. But, <clears throat> um, excuse me. This video is easy to make. And we, um, when I did this, now... The first video, like I said, was the, um, was, now, if you guys have been with me for a long time, then you guys know I did, recently, I did a, um, a crock pot pork loin mashed potatoes and carrots. That video is still on my channel. This video is not going away. Um, that video, of course, I put a lot of effort into it, but I think this video will definitely have more. Now, right now, the oven is at 295, which we're waiting still for 375, so we're going to wait a little bit longer. Um, but, you know, this video is easy. Now, what we'll do, now I'm going to show you guys what actually went into this dish. So, the ingredients for this dish, so that you guys will know, um, it was one and a half pounds of shrimp, um, lemon juice, minced garlic, dried dill, olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, four medium zucchinis. Um, the assembly directions say, this is really easy. So we're just gonna show it. now. Right now it's at three ten. We're waiting for three seventy five. When it's once it's there, I'm gonna pop it into our oven. It's almost there. It's halfway there. So we're just gonna wait. Um, but this recipe is easy. And in the future video, maybe I'll show you guys how to make a um, something 
similar to this. Like our slow cooker garlic parmesan chicken pasta we're going to do Thursday. But this recipe is easy. Now, um, the important thing is to remember is that you cook your shrimp until it's pink. You don't cook it, you don't, you don't want to cook it underdone, you don't want to do medium done, you want to make sure it's, it, you know, it has to be cooked all the way through. The zucchini, when you put it in the oven, it should be nice and soft, it shouldn't be hard, you gotta make sure that. And you do olive oil, but you want to make sure you don't do as much, you want to make sure you put it all over whatever you're making, so now we can cook that olive oil flavor, okay? So there's your tips. Now, the rule about this recipe right here is that you don't want to open it when the timer is off which i'm going to set my timer to i'm going to tell you guys so you guys know this recipe this bakes at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes we're going to start at 10 minutes see and then if it's when i when i pull it out it's not cooked all the way through, it's not done then we'll do another like five minutes or, or maybe we'll do like another yeah maybe like five minutes or so but this recipe is easy i'm going to show you guys how easy it is and um, for, um, now, like I said, the reason why I'm not filming tomorrow is because I really don't want to film tomorrow's recipe because it's not, it's not really something I would want to do anyway, but I would love to do it for you guys, but I just, I'm not going to have time. So I'm going to do today's video and then I'll do Thursday and then we'll go from there. Now, like I said, um, each week, what I'll do is I'll meal prep and then each week when we... Whenever we post something out for dinner, I'll um, make a video of it and I will send it. Because you guys were asking me if you guys can, if you guys were asking me, you guys were like, can you make real cooking videos? And I'm like, yes, I sure can. It's not hard. Not hard. It's easy. This video is going to be easy to make too. And like I said, for the, um, for the, for the butternut squash, all we're going to do is we're just going to follow the packaging. The, yeah, we're going to follow the packaging instructions. Now, right now it's at 36, so we're almost there. Um, but this recipe is easy. Now, one of these days, I will show you guys how to make a um, pork loin with potatoes and carrots, which you guys were asking me how to make that. And that's one of the, uh, that's one of the, like, the top recipes that I really want to show you guys how to make a pork loin with potatoes and carrots. Now, um, I don't want this to confuse you, I don't, eh, I don't want this um, to confuse you guys. It's sort of like pot roast but not really because you're not cooking it like as long as you would normally now right now it's at 370 so we're almost there so what i'm going to do so that i can be ready to put my oven mitts on now we're going to bake this like i said for 10 minutes should i 10 and then um when the um when it's done we're gonna, all right so we're going to stick this into the oven it, uh, it's preheated at three ooh. All right, guys, hold on. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Somebody left the pizza in the oven. All right, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to stick this into the oven, 375. Somebody left the pizza in the oven, guys. Sorry about that. We're going to set the timer for 12 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry. Not 12. I'm sorry. For 10 minutes. All right, guys. So when this... Um, when this gets done cooking, I'll come back and I'll show you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, please leave me a comment down below. Like I said, I will have this video uploaded and I'll make a trip to it. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Vlog on.